Bless up, Bala. Blessings, Ryan. What's going on? Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Blessed good evening. Blessed, blessed good evening to everyone that is joining me for a quick word, a quick word of encouragement this evening. This evening, it's been a while I haven't come on live, you know, because. I've been busy working, you know, good day, doing a lot of stuff. But I want to come on real quick to speak a word of encouragement this evening. And because of what everything that is going in this world, a lot is going on over the past two weeks been happening and I said that I did not want to come on and talk about you know this virus and get anyone scared people are tired of hearing it but it is re it is reality of what is going on right now it's the talk about of what is going on right now there is more important stuff that is happening right now in the world but this is something else so I just wanna encourage somebody this evening because I'm on the road every day driving going to different places in and out of hospitals in and out of um medical place in and out of all type of area and I encounter a lot of people over the period of time I'm doing this a lot of people and over the past uh, days where everyone now most people that I have encountered talking about this virus and the number one thing that I heard come from everyone mouth <laughs> hey Shaw what's up my brother yes we need some snow brother yeah the number one thing that I heard coming from everyone's mouth is about fear 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 you know they're fearing i spoke to one young lady yesterday and she she said she's afraid you know of what is going on and i was there in the therapy you know in glen burnie in encouraging her you know I said look you know it's reality what is going on now but you don't need to be fear you don't need to be in fear just do what you were doing from before increase what you know supposed to be increased you know and get your life together get your act together so it's good for us right now to encourage each other if you know someone that is going through fear because of what is going on now as we said earlier on the prior line that you know call someone talk look out for your neighbor you know look out for a friend check upon them to see what is going on if they're sick and need help you know be there for them and try to make sure that you know everybody around you is doing okay but i just want to jump on and talk about 
give you two or three scripture before I go because I have to get off here in the next nine minutes. God does not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. So this is what we are praying for, deceiving that, you know, we will have a sound mind regardless of what is going on right now. What, are, what we are seeing with our natural eyes and what we are hearing right now, let us have a sound mind in this. Because if you're going to have fear in what is going on right now, fear is what let a lot of people lose their life. It's not the disease. It's not um, the pain. Most time it's fear. Because you fear the things that you cannot see. And you often time, it, it often, your whole thoughts subject to everything that you are seeing right now. So, the Lord did not give you the spirit of fear, but he have given you the spirit of power, the spirit of love, the spirit of a sound mind. Okay? For the spirit of God give you, give us, does not make us timid. Okay? For the spirit God give us, does not make us timid. But give us power, love, and self-discipline. Fear has no place in the life of a Christian. So if you are a Christian, you should not have fear. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you should not walk around with fear. Fear has no place in the life of Christian. By the name of Jesus Christ who live in us, we have been given authority over fear. If we are starting to feel anxious for our fear or creeping into our mind, we can rebuke this in Jesus' name and find peace. In the spirit of God that give us his power, his love and self-discipline. So we have to learn how to discipline ourselves, how to discipline our mind and let this mind that we have, you know, be in Christ Jesus. Yes, let this mind be in Christ Jesus. When you let your mind be in Christ Jesus. You don't have to be walking around with fear about what is going on now. The disease, violence, because your, your mind now is subject to the authority of God. So we should believe that, you know, he give us the power over fear. Okay, we have the power over fear. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right? We shall not fear no evil. Psalms 23 and 4. Even though we walk through the darkness of valley, we will not fear no evil. This disease is an evil. It's demonic. It's it breed always. It look in places to breed, to breed upon people. So it can spread. It's a disease. It's a demonic disease that was created. All right. So even though we walk in, walk into the valley of this disease we will not fear we should not fear because what our God 
his rod and his staff is protecting us. And if you're a believer, we should know this. That that's what the word of God says. Psalms 23. Our good shepherd. Yet though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We shall not fear no evil. Amen. We shall not fear these imps that is going around. We should not fear these sickness. What we should do is give it to God. We should pray. If my people which were called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek his face. You know. And the people who God have called by his name which is some of us, we're not praying, we're not seeking him, but we turn away, we turn away from him and turn to do evil when we should be praying, when we should be seeking him, the people who were called by his name turn away doing evil, creating Creating all type of manner of evil. Somebody calling me. When we should be praying. We do not need to watch the news for long before seeing stories of death and tragedy. It is easy to worry or imagine ourselves in such situation. But the scripture is clear. Worry does not add to our lives. It was Jesus himself who asked and above question during his famous sermon on the mount. Why do you worry? Instead of worrying, you should spend time seeking God. By praying, reading your words, discussing your fears with a community of believers. Like I said before, if you are fearing, if you know somebody is fearing right now, because fear can do so much. Fear can lead up to even suicide. Because you fear. You might do something wrong. You know, fear can do so much to you, so much to your soul. So if you're fearing, if you're around someone right now and you know that person is fearing, you need to be close to that person. You need to call that person, you need to talk to him, comfort the person. Because we are our brother's keeper. As we know, when Cain's, Cain killed Abel and when Jesus asked him, where is your brother, Cain? And he said, that, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord said, yes. Because his blood cried out from the earth. So we are our brother's keeper. That's why we must check upon each other. So we do not have to go in. Commit suicide. Look and the news of what we see happening. If you are sick, as what they said on the news, if you are sick right now, you must not go anywhere. You must stay in your house and call your doctor. If your if your children is sick, if you, if the whole family in your house is sick. They said don't go nowhere. But stay in your house and call your doctor. If an old person is sick right now that can't walk. That old person must stay in 
their house and call their doctor. What's going to happen to all these people? Fear is going to come on them. Especially if they don't have no one around them to call. Fear is going to be there knocking at their door. One more and then I have to go. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the presence or nor the future, nor any power, neither high nor depth, nor anything, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate me from the love of God. Nothing shall separate us at this time and in this season. Nothing shall separate us from the love of Christ. This is the time where we should be calling on him, pursuing him. Because he's the one that who's going to answer our prayer. He's the one that is going to deliver. Oh yes, we go to the doctor for deliverance. We go to the doctor when we feel in pain, when we need medication, the doctor prescribe it. The doctor do the surgery and everything, but we have to remember also who made the doctor. The doctor was made by God. God is the one who give that doctor the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to prescribe to prescribe every form of pills and medication that you're going to take so we have to seek the doctor who made the doctor i said last one and i have to go Last one now. What about fear of death? We walk, we wake up every morning not knowing whether this day will be our last. Each day bring bad news in the media. But even the possibility of death is no reason to be fear, to be afraid. Christ Jesus said so himself. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Right? So we, we should only put our fear in, in Christ. And when we, when we call upon his name, in now, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, but now. Because these signs up on this line right now, this is a warning. This is a wake-up call. I have seen disease. I have heard about all disease that went before Ebola bird flu you name it but not one of those disease cause a shutdown not one of those disease cause places to be empty when you see something like this happening now God is knocking on the door for us to hear him for us to believe him and start to seek him because there is so much evil upon this land why you think all the evil now that is on this land 
has went up into his nostril. Everywhere is closing down. Stores, the shelves are empty. Everybody running for food. Okay. The Bible said in the last days there will be famine. Right? There will be famine. This is this should not be a surprise if we read the Bible. We should know that this is the fulfillment. This is the revelation of what's happening, of what was spoke before. It's happening now. But this is my prayer because I believe when we pray that one prayer can turn around a situation. And the Bible said that these two shall pass. So, my friends, my family, just turn your life. And don't worry about what you see um, other people do. Because we always say that, oh... We don't believe in pastors, we don't believe in the prophets, we don't believe in the apostles because this and that and that. It's going to be all about you. It's not going to be all about them. It's going to be about you and yourself. So you have to examine yourself because when I make a mistake, I know and I pray. And I ask God to deliver me. I repent. Because we should all repent. Because we are human. Everyone is human. They are human. The same blood that runs through your vein. The same blood runs through their vein. Red. So they are not perfect. You got to examine yourself. What am I doing wrong? What are you doing wrong? You know, this is not a time now to turn your back and close your ears and be stiff naked. But it's a time for you now and it's a time for me and for everyone in this world to wake up to what is going on. I've never seen nothing like this before. And you have never seen nothing like this before. What is happening now? It's just a wake up call. Don't panic. Don't fear. Protect yourself. Use wisdom. Protect yourself. Don't walk out there knowing the fact that there is, that area is closed off. Don't walk out there. Don't walk down there. And believe that, oh, your immune system is so strong and this thing is not going to hold you and you got this, this, this and that. Protect yourself. Use every measure that is given to you. They said, wash your hands with soap and water. Use sanitizer. Use bleach. But do not inhale too much of this alcohol. Because while I was praying, while I was praying, and the word that I heard that this is the time where most um, sanitizer and, you know, you could call it Fabulosa or Febreze and they're going to be used. And it's also not good for your immune system. It's not, so, it's, it's not good for your lungs. So don't take too much of that. But use uh, all the protective measure that you're supposed to use. Protect yourself. Don't bring home any sickness to your house. Don't, don't, don't bring home any sickness to your family. 
this disease. Because you, it don't have to trouble you. It don't have to touch you. Because you can be, your immune system can be so strong that you don't, it don't bother you none at all. But what if you bring home your clothes with it or your shoes? Then it started to spread in your house. Protect yourself, my friends. You know, protect your family and enjoy life. Because this too shall pass. Amen. God bless you all. Peace out. One love. Love you all. With the love of Christ Jesus.